How's it going guys? Today I want to talk to you about something that I'm sure most of you intuitively know doing video production work, but something I want to lay out for a lot of people who may be just starting out or maybe don't have their own approach to video editing. This is how I put together all my video projects like a puzzle. So this video is for people who are maybe newer to video production and don't have that methodology in putting a video together. This is going to be my approach to kind of just scientifically put all these pieces together without having to creatively think about every single decision. So it makes it more like putting together a puzzle rather than painting a painting. So the first step I take is to gather all of what I call my content. So if I'm doing a corporate video, that might be an interview. If I'm doing a wedding, that would be the ceremony, the vows, all of the different multicam elements like the cake cutting, the first dance, everything that I'm capturing real time, I'm going to cut out all of the parts that I want to use in my final highlight video and I'm going to lay that on the timeline. So I look at cutting the content kind of like putting your edge pieces around the puzzle. You're building the framework or the foundation for your overall video, your overall vision and every step from here on out is going to be in line with this step. So definitely take your time and really be intentional with how you're gonna put this together. So this part is where you get to build up your story the most. You get to determine what order you wanna place all of these things in and just overall determine the flow of the video. Something I also think is really important is to label all of your footage with different colors. For example, maybe I'll do the ceremony as blue, maybe I'll do the toasts as orange, so on and so forth. If I'm doing some kind of corporate video and I'm interviewing two or three people, maybe I'll label each interview a different color and cut back and forth so when I'm looking at the overall story, the framework, the content, I can see the distribution of what's going where. The next thing I focus on is the musical side of things. Usually I will have picked out the music first, but to lay that in, I use a tool in Adobe Audition called the Remix tool. And it's very simple to use. You just create a multicam sequence and you're able to remix your song to any length. So once you have your content cut out, you can determine, okay, my video is gonna be two and a half minutes long, or my video is gonna be five and a half minutes long and you can determine the length of the music. So something I do after I import all of this into Premiere is I use the M key to make markers at all of the emotional highlights of the song. That way the content can go in line with the dynamics of the music and the build of the music. So essentially we're refining the story, we're determining the big moments of the video. So the next part is some of the fun stuff. You may have a timeline of selects or you may just be pulling from a folder of different B-roll that you've captured. For a wedding, this is usually very large and I organize it based on the chronological order. So we'll start with prep and then we'll have, you know, before the ceremony, then the reception details, so on and so forth. I'll make several folders and I'll pull from those folders into this base that I've built. And now we're adding all of the engaging visual elements to our video. And again, we're gonna go by those markers we've selected on our audio, and we're going to kind of crescendo the visuals to go in line with the audio, to also go in line with how the content is building. So after this step, you should have pretty much a rough cut of how your video is going to look. And from here, you can refine it with texture, with color, and with all of these extra elements. So the next thing I do is I go and I color grade my clips. I add texture, whether that's grain, or whether those are lens flares or film burns. I'm adding just all of the visual layers that I need in my project. And it's very important not to skip steps like this because when you're looking at an overall project, you are kind of seeing all of these layers built up into something really fantastic. And the more layers, the more features you're throwing into your video, oftentimes comes across in the final project as you putting in more effort 
and the project being overall really excellent. Now that being said, things could get really campy if you're doing a lot of crazy things like zoom in transitions and whip pans and you know, you do have to have a vision throughout all of these steps and you kind of have to execute it in line with how everything else is going. So don't take that as adding more visual elements is always better because you can definitely go overboard with this step, but it's very important not to skip it. Then the next thing is I go through my sound effects library and I add in different atmospheres to kind of put the audience in the place. So if we're looking at the exterior of a building, we want to have some sound, whether that's cars going by, wind going through grass, crickets chirping. We want to set the scene and really emphasize where we are. And it's important to note, things should make noise. If you see people's mouths moving, you should hear some degree of noise. It is kind of jarring when you're watching a video and you're seeing things that should be making noise and you're not hearing that at all. Even if it's very low levels in the background, it definitely adds a lot in taking your audience to that place where you are. Then you can also do certain things to emphasize the big moments in the video. There are different hit sound effects that can really emphasize certain moments and kind of go beyond just the markers that you made in your original music composition. So those are important to add in too. And again, with this sound effects thing, don't skip this step. Take the time to do it because it's just adding more layers, adding more thought and intentionality to your project. And then finally, if you're doing a type of video, like a corporate video, there's probably going to be some graphical element that you're going to need to add. And when you're doing this, it's kind of important to add an overall treatment to all of the graphical elements so they all look in line with each other and make sense with the overall project. So like everything else, it should be in line with all of these other steps to add that level of intentionality to everything you're doing in the video project. So for corporate videos, this could be name keys, titles, full screen graphics. For wedding films, it's usually a little bit more simple. It's usually a title at the beginning and the end, maybe some credit type thing or you know your business at the end. But graphics are important. Just remember to do a treatment and branding for each project. So anyways, guys, I hope that helps. If you're looking at a mountain of footage and wondering how you're going to put it together, I hope this methodology helps you build your videos more like a puzzle rather than a painting. And it's important to remember that this is just a baseline methodology. It's certainly not the steps you need to take for every single video project, but it's more just a surefire way to get a project done quicker and to put less creative thought into it, maybe get stuck less on different parts of your video. So hope that helped. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.